we see a typical time study summary. Obviously, the more time studies you do, the more data you're going to collect. One of the unique features of Timer Pro Professional is the ability to create standard data libraries based upon the time study values. In this example here, let's say that we were interested in the get part small, get part medium, and get part large times here. That's a very common occurrence that you may want to store into a standard data library. To create a standard data library or update a standard data library, you click on the process analysis button from the element summary page. This will bring up the process analysis module. What we're interested in, however, are these standard data libraries that appear over here in this pop-up window. You can see if I click here, you can see different options I have available to me. I'm going to store these data items relating to the get part small, get part medium, get part large into this warehouse standards library. Click on the open, and it will open up the warehouse standards library. The standard data library format itself is simply another Excel sheet where the data is organized in an indented fashion. So you can see here, move to location. If you walk, these are the different options. If we're going to pick something, you get cartons. These are the different options. Very similar to creating the time study templates themselves. What we want to do is insert some lines here. So I'm going to insert these using the standard Excel format, insert four rows. And I'm going to say pick individual parts. Right, now, under the individual parts, I want to actually place under there my get part small, medium, and large. All I do is I click on the area where I want it to go. I click on the get part small. Come over here, hit the right mouse button, and paste it in there. Notice what it's doing. It's placing the, the, uh, the description, followed by the time, uh, followed by whether it's value-added or non-value-added work. I'm going to repeat that for my get part medium. Click on the get part medium. Come back over here and paste it right in there. And the third time, I'm going to do it for my get part large. So you can see I'm actually taking the data from the time study, pasting it right into this template over here. So that now I actually have my three individual selections here for the various options under my individual parts. Now I want to test it to see how this might work in practice. And we're actually going to use this full um, standard data library here. So I click on the test option over here. You can define your own uh, templates uh, for uh, bringing the data in. So this is one that I've designed in Excel. I'm going to just double click on the, uh, the activity here. And it brings up the uh, Excel sheet. I'm going to move this aside here. I'll just uh, let you see how it works. So let's say getting the work order. And then you're checking the status. What you're seeing here is the actual time study values reappearing along with the descriptions. Now we're going to move to a location. Let's say we're going to go by fort lift. We're going to mount and start the fort lift. We're going to drive to a location so many feet away. Right. When we get there, then we're going to pick some parts. So here's our individual parts. Here's the get part small. Remember, these are the same items that we had over here. You can see them still in the right here. So we're going to get part small. Let's say we're picking up six of them. So what we're saying is we're getting a small part. We're going to set out that six times. Each one takes 4.11 seconds. And now we're going to pick up some medium parts. Let's say there was three of those. And two large parts. All right, so now we're telling it what we've actually picked up. And then we're going to pack them. We're going to insert in the carton. And it's a box stock. So we'll say we're inserting 11 items into the carton. We are going to count the stock, stock in the carton. We're going to seal the carton up. Uh, we're going to apply the label to it. So we'll apply a shipping label. We're going to uh, scan the barcode. And then we're going to update the order sheet. So we're going to scan the order. We're going to update, um, let's say, 11 to, 20 to 12 items here. And then we're going to sign the order. And finally, we're going to inspect it. So we need to check the correct address and confirm the unit count in there. OK, so we've made a, a number of selections. Um, you can see in the background, my estimate sheet is completely blank. I do a file, I do save entries. And all of the data that I wanted to uh, show over here has now been dumped right in here. And here's our get part values here, the three items. So you can see how it's taken the data all the way from the time study, 
we put it into our uh, warehouse standard data library and now we're applying it to develop an estimate. 